Okay, welcome everyone to the Mark Andy booth in Label Expo 2011. My name is Ken Daming and my partner here is Alex Schmidt. Together, in the next 10 minutes, we're going to show you a demonstration of the most innovative and productive press to hit the narrow web label converting industry in decades. That's the Performance Series by Mark Andy. This particular press that we're going to show you is the top of the line, the Model P7. Since we first introduced this press right here in Brussels two years ago, we've sold over 110 of these machines. And many of our customers, after having proven to themselves that the performance benefits we're about to show you are real, have bought multiple machines, usually at a rate of one performance series to replace sometimes two or three even older conventional presses. I trust that by the end of this demonstration, you too will see that the performance benefits are real and can make your money, your company more money. Now as we go through the demonstration, I want you to remember four principles of this machine. First of all, it's quick changeover and setup, low weight, simplicity of the design. Watch how simple this design is. And open access for the operator. You'll see as we go through how we've addressed each of those values for you. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is show you how to set up a complete print station. We're completely dry to printing. And I'm gonna time Alex. Are you ready to go to work this morning? All right, ready, set, go. You can see the timer up on the wall. Watch what Alex does here. He pours the ink into the tray, he loads the tray into the printing station. Then he takes the analog scroll, loads it right into the carriage and the doctor blade assembly. He loads it into the cassette and he locks it into place. That's our load and lock feature. Remember that, load and lock. Then he takes the plate cylinder, locks it into place, it pre-registers, and now he's going to print and there he's done. 35 seconds. Good job, Alex. That's not bad for the first one of the day. <laughs> All right, so Alex did that so fast, I did, he didn't give me a chance to explain everything that he's doing. First of all, look at this little cup of ink that he poured in. That's enough ink to get full coverage for this 430 millimeter wide press. That's how efficient we use the ink thumb. Secondly, look at the plate cylinder that he has. That's a 44 tooth plate cylinder. So you might ask, well why does anybody want to run a plate cylinder that small? The answer is, when you have short run jobs, a very high proportion of the job cost is plate cost. If you can reduce the plate cost, you reduce the job cost, right? Well most of the presses you'll see out on this exhibition hall have minimum repeat sizes of between 250 and 300 millimeters. But your average label job your average label will only be maybe 150 millimeters long or even shorter than that. So why would you need to run two or three labels around a repeat? You can run one, like the performance series, you save on plate costs. This is, goes down to 140 millimeters, it's 40, 14, that's five and a half inches. We have customers that say they save over 100,000 euros a year just on plate costs because they can run down to this small of repeat size. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the jobs that we're running today. First job that we have in the press, the six color job, it's a typical label job. This is a screen white. It has four process colors, a spot color and a UV varnish. Okay, it's all UV inks. This is a 128 tooth repeat. We're gonna to switch to a 96 tooth. I'll show you in a minute, but first I'm gonna talk about the screen printer down here. This is a brand new design, combination of Stork and Mark Andy. You can move this screen printer to any station. We have it at station one. This has a 24 inch repeat capacity. This has pre-registration capabilities. It has automatic registration capabilities. The controls of the screen printer are integrated right into the controls of the press. So it's very easy to operate. That's the cleanest and most integrated 
implementation of Scree on the market today. Okay, the second job we're going to run then, what Alex is going to change over to, is this job, another typical label job. This is a Flexo White now, a UV Flexo White, and four process colors. All right, so what we're going to do is show Alex how long it takes, Alex is going to show us how long it takes to switch from this 128 tooth repeat to a 96 tooth repeat. Okay, I'm going to reset the timer and I'm going to turn on our device that measures the waist. And Alex, you ready to work again? Ready, set, go. All right, let's watch what he does. Takes, just like that, he unlocks the station, takes out the 128 tooth, puts in a 96 tooth repeat. Now watch what happens when he puts in the 96 tooth. The servo motor will pre-register the plate cylinder, just like that. And then it goes into idle mode, okay? So he's, it's locked into place. Now watch one more time. It pre-registers, it idles. Now look at one of the things Alex is not doing when he sets this up. He's not touching the inking or impression adjustments. Matter of fact, when he loaded the doctor blade assembly, he didn't touch the doctor blade settings. He didn't have to adjust the screws, okay? All right, so he's loaded all five of the plate cylinder. Now he's gonna work back this way and make the minor registration corrections. So watch why, how he does that. In the meantime, I wanna talk a little bit about how open this print station is. First of all, look at the inking system. Wide open access to the analog scroll, the doctor blade, the ink tray. And look over here at the plate cylinder, how it rotates. The servo motor rotates it even if the press is stopped. Very easy to clean, get any dust or hickeys off the plate cylinder. So you might say, well, how could that meet the European CE guarding requirements? It's so wide open. The answer is it absolutely does, and it's from this proprietary locking system. I told you the load and lock feature a while ago. That's what guards the plate cylinder. And notice, we've got a big 200 millimeter diameter chilled impression roll here. Wide open view for Alex to look straight down at the print and see the quality of the print. And there's no, also no big bulky plastic guards here that might be interlocked that you have to lift out of the way to get access to the plate cylinder. Now I'd like to call your attention to our flex frame design down here, how open it is. Wide open access to the idler rolls, the web, the UV lamps, the hot air dryers if you have that configuration. And up above, we have a rail system that could mount a laminator or a waste rewind or a cold coil unit or a hot coil unit or even another screen printing unit. And look how simple the controls are at every single station. Simple, direct, quick adjustment. Okay, Alex is finishing up the final registration corrections on station six, and he's gonna hit run. Now, I could stop the timer now, but I won't. I want you to look at the screen, and we'll see when the print comes into registration. There we see the white, the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black right there. Stop. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. In two minutes and 59 seconds, and 18.9 meters of waste, we've completely changed over from one job to a completely different repeat size, okay? And remember that 18.9 meters of waste is from all the way down here at station two, through the five colors, the varnish, the dye, to the camera down here. That's the 18.9 meters of waste. How do we get such a small amount of waste? Well, look, here's our web pad. It goes around the chilled impression roll, right through here, up again. There's 1.4, 1.4 meters of web between every station. That's how we get such small waste. Alex, how fast are we running now? 100 meters a minute, just like that, that fast. All right, I want to show you one more sample. It's a job we ran earlier, a little sample, just to prove to you how little waste it takes to set up this machine. It's the same job that you just saw. 
that we took off the rewind. It has no print, white, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and the varnish here. In register, about two meters of web length. Is that amazing? Good job. And we have customers that prove to us that this type of waste is typical. We have one customer who runs a pretty complicated expanded content label job and says he gets 38% waste reduction with this press. We have other customers who run a more typical label job and they get 55% waste reduction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see how we've executed the values, the productivity benefits of quick setup and changeover, low waste, simplicity of the design, and open access for the operator, and how those benefits can make your company more profitable.